we're going to be going through my current empties that I have. I have some here in the basket, so I thought I would go over them and share my thoughts with you. Some of them are regular products, and then some of them it was my first time trying, and I just finally used it up. It usually takes a while for me to go through something, especially when it comes to like makeup products, so I don't have but I think one makeup item, quite a few skincare items, and then some other more lifestyle, nutritional type items. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing that I have is by Fresh, their Soy Face Cleanser. And I did really like this one. Um, I got this in a boxy charm, I believe. One of those subscription boxes. But I did really enjoy it. I really like the way it lathered, the way it cleaned. Um, and it's good for all skin types, so that was a very good product. The next I have by Marc Jacobs, their Youthquake Hydrofull Retexturizing Gel Cream. It's more like a moisturizer. And I got that one in a BoxyCharm too, I believe. But as you can see there, it's a yellow cream. Literally scraped almost all of it out there. Um, and I've heard some rumors about Marc Jacobs saying that maybe they're going out of business, kind of like Becca is, but I haven't heard any formal announcements, just kind of rumors at this point, because a lot of their stuff has been going on sale. So who knows, if you have heard any official announcements on that, leave me a comment below and let me know, because I'd be interested. They do make some really good products. And then next I have by the Baby Dove Tip to Toe Wash in Sensitive Moisture. And this one is a um, hypoallergenic wash used for your private areas if you didn't know that. I heard um, Ashlyn Lene, she's more on Instagram, she does YouTube too a little bit. Um, there was some drama way back when with Jaclyn Hill and her husband with Ashlyn and whatever that's their personal life is the way I see it but she had said that her doctor recommended this for your womanly parts if you whatever you want to call it <laughs> our private areas and I've been using it for a while so I go through these pretty regularly um, so if you're looking for something in that area and you've tried like the Vagisil, Summer's Eve and all that jazz, it really doesn't help even though it says it helps with pH. I've heard it's bad for it. This has been my new go-to for that. Then I have a Batiste dry shampoo in Burnett. I really like this because it doesn't leave the white casts in your roots and it smells really good and it's pretty affordable. So I'll definitely need to get me another one of these. Then this one, I lied, I do have a, two makeup items. So this is not an empty, but it's trash. <laughs> I tried it out, really did not like it. It was another thing we got in BoxyCharm. It's the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. I thought it was weird to begin with because of a tinted face oil. I've heard of tinted moisturizers and they work great but this is oil it comes straight up like liquid I don't know if you can hear it but it was a definite no for me I have an Elemis the pro collagen marine cream it's an anti-wrinkle day cream and I just use this as a daily moisturizer until I ran out and it worked well it wasn't anything like too amazing but I didn't have problems either I used it all up so it did what it was supposed to do it moisturized then I have my uh, Saturday skin their waterfall glacier water cream and this one is kind of a dupe for the, um, the aqua bomb if you're familiar with that it's one of my favorites it's a gel moisturizer and that's exactly what this was um, it was a gel moisturizer too so I really enjoyed it and I do think it's a little cheaper than that one. So if you're looking for a dupe, there's an idea. Next I have by 111 Skin, their Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Booster. It's a serum. And I really like to use serums before my moisturizer when putting on makeup. So I typically use them in the morning and at night. And this was a really good one. I love Hyaluronic Acid because I do have dry skin. So that was a really nice one. I know that's an expensive brand, but 
it worked well. And I have another moisturizer. I see we're on a trend here, but I do use moisturizers daily, usually morning and night, so I go through those the most. Um, this one was the It Confidence in a Cream Anti-Aging Armor Transforming Moisture Super Cream. And I really liked this. This is a nice, rich, creamy moisturizer. So I really loved it. I haven't had any issues with any It products that I've used, actually, not that I remember. But this is the first time I had tried this, even though I heard a lot about it. I have one of their cleansers. I haven't started using it yet because I like to try to use up what I'm on before I open something new so I don't waste. But I'm sure as good as this was, I'm sure that the, the cleanser is just as good. Then we have another moisturizer, but this is the last one. This one is by number seven, their Hydra Luminous Water Surge Gel Cream. So it's the same type of deal with the Saturday Skin. Similar to the Aqua Bomb, um, it's a jelly moisturizer, so if you have oily skin, the gel moisturizers are better for you. I use a combination of both because I have combination skin, but in the winter time it stays really dry. And here's the packaging on that. And all empty in there, so nothing to see. And then the other makeup item I mentioned is the ColourPop Brow Boss. And I use it in light brown. And I use all of it up. There's nothing left. I need to get a new one. This is one of my favorite brow pencils, especially when it comes to the more affordable side. And just like how fine the tip is, and you can really get in there and, and fill it in and make hair like strokes. And then the last few are kind of more lifestyle type of items. Um, the first one is a green tea extract. I just get these on Amazon and it's just something I take daily. I take it with my breakfast and with my lunch. Just helps give you energy. Green tea said to help burn fat, so why not? It's something I purchase regularly. I, this is probably like my 10th bottle or more, but I buy them pretty much monthly on Amazon and they're pretty affordable too. And then also by Divine Bounty, I buy their digestive enzymes. It's a plant-based enzymes with probiotics and prebiotics and also has vitamins A, C, and B. So I take a multivitamin, of course, but I also take these type of supplements to just kind of help. Um, this has your prebiotics and probiotics, so you don't have to take those separate pills and the enzymes, which helps with digestion if you have any of those type of issues. And then the last thing I have, it was a candle. And this one, my mom actually bought me, I think, for Christmas. It's um, from Bath & Body Works. They're white barn scented candles. It's called Paris Cafe. And if you're a coffee lover, you have to try this scent. I don't know if it was limited edition or they still have it. I know they have other coffee scents too. But it literally makes your house smell like a coffee shop. And it just gives you that nice awakening feeling, you know. If you're like me, the aroma of coffee kind of helps get you going for the day too. So it was really nice, but down to the very bottom of that. And side note, Bath & Body Works is my favorite candles, especially the three wick candles because they burn so nice and evenly. So I'll start incorporating those into the empty videos too. And let you know what my thoughts were on the, the different fragrances that I try. If you guys enjoyed the video, I know I haven't done an empties video in a long time. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy these types of videos. Hit subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell. Um, and leave me a comment and spark some conversation down below. It really helps the channel out. And I also like to get to know you guys a little better that way too. Um, I know I have a few that comment regularly. And thank you for that. I recognize your support and I appreciate it. I will see you in the next one. Bye.